Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant Worlds Honorverse, episode number 33, and I want to start off by saying I really apologize if it's been a long time since the last episode. Uh, Christmas break uh, with the PhD and all that stuff. A lot of, a lot of stuff has happened in the last <laughs> two weeks, and I tried to do a backlog of recordings, but Distant Worlds uh, did not have enough time uh, recorded for me to, you know. Anyway, so I just really apologize, and with all the Steam sales going on, I was kind of looking into picking up another Space Forex game and just going through all the motions of looking at different videos and all that made me realize how great a game Distant Worlds Universe is. I mean, I'm willing to say that f uh, flat out for me, it's the best Space Forex game um, probably ever made. I know that a lot of people will give high praise to Masters of Master of Orion, but um, to me, this is the most comprehensive, most detailed, uh, most immersive that a forex game can get even just some minor detail having a no separate system and galaxy view having it scroll inward and out I, I love it so that said i should try probably try to get these videos out with a little more frequency and i will try but unfortunately until the christmas break ends so probably another week or so i won't have any consistency there'll be no regularity and that is the enemy schedules are a friend of getting recordings in and this like chaos theory type existence is uh, the opposite of what, what is a, a good environment for recording. So I apologize. Okay, that said, last video we were just basically taking over AI fleets and messing them around, throwing them in. We're going to try to clean up that. I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, so we'll be a little bit, I mean, it's kind of fun to throw these fleets at the pirates, but it, one thing is I don't even think that they attack back. I can't get them to actually engage the pirates, which is bad. So we'll, we'll try not to cheat anymore, which it's really cool that you can do that, so it could be useful if you're in a war with people, I mean, with AI and all that, um, on your, or if you're allied to AI against another AI empire, excuse me, then that could be really useful, but, but otherwise, yeah, it's, it seems like there's uh, a lot of exploits possible there, and that's fine if you want to play the game that way, that's also a valid way of playing, it probably won't be as fun though. So let's go ahead and unpause. Uh, the first thing, I, oh yeah, I want to do an overview of the research. Basically, uh, we're, we don't have quite enough money to do either of these boosts yet. And we're uh, just about finished with Continental and we'll be on to Desert Colonization. And I'd like to save the money, not even for Fusion Balance, which we're actually pretty close to, about 300,000 away. Um, we are going to be much better off, I think, getting Desert Colonization uh, sped up tripled or crash researched whatever it is because this is going to have a much bigger impact on us uh, okay so not directly but it will in like the desert colonization is already not a problem for us because we have the securance in our in our system and it's one of the races that we have in our empire and what it's a dominant race on a planet which is the important key um so this isn't going to help us directly, but the continental colony growth rate on that third column there is what I'm looking forward to. Then we can move on to ice or to volcanic. I'll just probably look at sea. <clears throat> probably ice. I generally find ice plants better, but um, we'll see which ones happen to have the better resources for us or happen to have more potential planets. And then that'll lead us to the massive colonization module doubling our final growth rates. And uh, so growth rate is doubled everywhere. <clears throat> by that point and then also we have the 60 million I'm sorry 100 million population amount per module currently we're only stuck on 30 million so oh we already have enhanced colony colonization module am I using that I don't know if I am which in which case I'm an idiot let's check this I thought it was just an upgrade but it, I think now I mean I'm looking at it now and apparently <laughs> it's an entirely different part so let's go to our, where's our fortune class? There it is. <laughs> so you should be easy because it's the only one that doesn't have a, free, a prefix. Uh, we have six currently being built, but that's fine. Let's not show only the latest sort by this. Colonization should be pre, I, I thought it was CL, colonization. Habitat, probably habitat. Basic colonization, yep, it's a different one. Well, that's balls. That's just a really crappy situation I don't know how to name it so we will have to upgrade this then obviously so I'll auto upgrade this edit did it already get the enhanced it did 
Very good. <clears throat> it's probably the only thing we actually need to do. Shields, everything we like to keep on the low side because it reduces the build cost. Um, and that's the time to build, basically. In fact, we probably need to reduce it even more than what it already is. It doesn't need engines to do almost anything. Okay, crews of 12 is already pretty low. I, I see I've already done a good job <laughs> keeping this pretty bare bones. Um, yeah, okay, this is already very much bare bones. So, Do we need two quantum reactors? What is the purpose of this? I, I have absolutely no idea why we had two. Oh, <clears throat> of course, because now we're putting quantum reactors on it versus whatever was the previously outdated reactor. This is a state ship, which makes me think... Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll put fusion on this instead of quantum. Okay, so what's the difference? 145, 275, 100, 215. I still think this will be enough. So one fusion reactor... Oh, whoops, nope, that's the wrong one. Fusion. Yeah, we still have 71. Oh, darn it. Nope, we would have to do a quantum reactor. Well, that is unfortunate. Yeah, we need at least 90 leftover energy, which we can only get from quantum. Okay, fine, then the, I mean, the colony ships are not going to be very common, so uh, it's not like their use of fuel. They, they just do one trip <laughs> and then they're done. So it doesn't really matter what fuel type it is. We just need enough to power our hyperdrive, which we've done here. So the colonizer Mark II is ready, set up, and well, I won't be using a special name for the colony class other than the fortune. I'm gonna just leave it fortune class forever. Okay, so we have that one, which we'll have to upgrade everyone to. That's, okay, so that's the one thing I didn't like. Fortune class, let's just call it the fortune class Mark II. I don't have a special name for the colony ship. The colony fortune class. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really know. What is the best way of naming it? The fortune class. Okay, CSS construction ship, so what in God's name would a colony... It'd be like... CLN would be too much. Huh. Let's just make it... This is kind of weird. Let's just make it the XX Fortune class. Uh, it'll at least be distinguishable. Okay, very good. So that's done. We now wait for our new... We will definitely upgrade every colony ship we have. I don't know how many we already have. Colony ships... So these guys are all just under construction. So as soon as they finish now, we will be uh, immediately retrofitting them to the new design. Okay, good. So at least we're making some good progress here. Uh, we should also ask the question, how are we doing on pirate situations here? We have one, we're not paying, we're not paying, we're paying, but they're actually pretty powerful. And then we're paying these guys just a very little, right? No, we're not paying them, but we're paying these guys just 126. And they still have 2,000, so they're probably worth paying. Okay, so we'll have to be watching out for some of the pirate attacks. Other than that, looks like our pickets are returning home after being just really badly beaten. Uh, we still have, do we still have some ships in here? Which one was it? It's, uh, no, no, it's, it's this one, I think. Did we get them out? Yeah, I, I guess we got them out. I didn't think so. Where, it was purple. So it had to be here. We had some ships in here. Oh, nope, nope, they're still here. Okay, yeah, so we'll have to watch this. We want this guy to stop. I, I just forgot that these guys keep going. So your construction ship will actually have a really hard time latching on unless you like constantly stop them. It's because they'll keep getting a new mission. So you gotta constantly stop them so they, they stop. Eventually the construction ship, I, I guess I might as well show this. The construction ship will just latch onto them. So he'll start moving. Uh, it makes it difficult, so we'll just stop him again, get the construction ship, and then he'll just jump on. And stop him again. And then they lock. There, they're paired. Good. So that is done. So I want to make more money. And I, by the way, I just ran the numbers for the Empire Summary Screen and all that. 
I think it is truly the reason why we have much low, a much lower cash flow is because we are building a lot of spaceports. Um, I was trying to think of things in a monthly basis, but this fact, this figure itself is given in a yearly basis. So when we're looking at state bases, building a couple more medium spaceports and even just the minor spaceports, 2,500 and 38, 3,700, I should say, um, that's just going to knock this cash flow down pretty significantly. You know, we get two more and that's basically almost 10,000 we're knocking down our cash flow. So, okay, let's move up to 2x since nothing exciting is happening right now. And unpause, I guess, is more important. And, okay, these pirate hunters were just there to get refueled, so let's make sure that that's what they're doing. <clears throat> yeah. And then I'm going to move them. Uh, I've been looking off camera. The next place for us to get is going to be this place right here. Ah, the Andermines are willing to trade Karabian Spice. I didn't know that the Andermani had Karabian Spice. Okay, also another thing I want to do. Let's change our relationship to give mining rights in our territory. So let's just be very nice to everyone, okay? Why not? Salesians, let's give them mining rights. Uh, just give everyone mining rights because we want to try to stay friends for as long as possible. Give you mining rights, so don't mind us. Okay, you know, we're not going to give them mining rights. And then we already give the Graysons mining rights, I believe. So now this, well, I thought we'd already changed. Okay, let's advance a little bit and good. No, what? why is it not showing us as giving mining rights? That's okay. Maybe they don't give us mining rights? No, we give it to them, I think. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh. The Kyadia Ruse is finished. Okay, so this is the first one that we need to immediately retrofit. So that we get the full 60 million. It's a double increase in colonization, which is great. And then after that, we'll send them, I guess as soon as these pirate hunters are done, they will no longer be pirate hunters, I guess. They will be changed to... Can we get the pirate hunters? There they are. Defense of X, because I forgot <laughs> what place they'll be going to. I think it's Alerthus. So this has an ocean planet right here. Yep, this is it. So this uh, fleet will now be defense... Alert us. Okay. We'll let them uh, finish refueling first, and then we'll get them over to this planet when they're done with that. Nope, this is the one. So as soon as you're done with that, cue next mission as to move to this moon. Because by that, about that time, we get this ship upgraded. Has it already completed its mission? It is... no, it's still fortune class colonizer. Wait, can you retrofit? There. I don't know why it wasn't doing that. It's weird. Okay, chaotic profit is done with this one, so they can go home. <clears throat> no fuel, but that's fine. We'll get them to repair the next one. Actually, those that pairs... we'll get this one repaired first. And then we'll jump to the last pair together. So get this guy to stop. We'll do the same thing. We completed research in Continental. Okay, good. So this doesn't really help us directly. There's nothing really we can do about the, the research we just finished. Because we already have Continental colonization available. But it does give us Desert colonization as the next research option. And this is going to be really expensive. But I think we wait to crash research that. I think that makes the most sense. Okay, we just keep stopping this guy until he's being repaired. Because no doubt the eventually the Masadans are going to complain about us being there. Oops, I just right on cue. We're sorry, I mean, look, it's it's not like... They, it's, I wish they could tell that we're trying to get out of there. Huh, this is interesting. Oh my god. 
anybody... Is anybody at war with the Salarians? They have a dubious reputation. We also have a... Oh, we're satisfactory. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. They are not at war with anybody. The Salesians are angry at them. Everyone's kind of annoyed at the Salarians, except for the Andermani, probably because they are also human. Yeah, that's ex that would explain it. <clears throat> but that's okay, the Andermani at least are sharing their crabby and spice with us, so that's why we have decided to be extra friendly to them. Let's just take a look at what their relationships are. Plus two with the Salesians, that's despite them coveting our colonies and resources, which is good. Um, these guys have a negative 11, so they aren't particularly happy with us. We'll have to watch out for that. Probably we shouldn't have our negative 10% relationship advisor here. <laughs> anyway, um, these guys hate us. That's fine. They also hate us. That's fine. They love us, and we expect that. This is the important one. So these two, plus 29 and plus 2. That's a good sign. And I don't know why these guys hate us so much. Just because they're not um, they're not democracy like us. Okay. Why this is negative eleven? So we have to be a little bit careful about this. Um, I don't know why they're sending a fleet to our space. Actually, you know what? Let's just okay. Let's just be a little bit safe about this. Let us prepare a defensive fleet just in case they uh, they are sending battleships. <laughs> we currently don't have any any fleets uh, capable of doing anything. So okay, let's, let's just take a look. We have Lurthus, Calypsa. We can't really pull off defensive fleets. We want pickets and yeah, these, these guys, they are ready. So we'll get them down to Lahan, I guess is probably the target. Let's just move there anyway. I mean, they're, they're inbound to the system. So the only thing I really want to defend there is Lahan. I know this is probably nothing, and you're, you're probably like, the paranoia is real. <clears throat> Nonetheless, let's have this group go and shoot. You guys really need to refuel. <laughs> Where are you again? Oh, we are at a gas mining station. Why don't you guys just refuel? It seems to make sense. You guys have almost all refueled. Uh, just have you refuel all ships at the nearest point. Okay, go there, that's fine. And Strike Alpha is also in a bad shape. You know what? I think it's about time for us to build another wave of ships. Even though our cash flow is down and our money was supposed to be saved for research, I think now's the time. Oh, by the way, how are the Salarians doing in terms of... Holy good mother of God, 22,000. Yeah, they, they've tripled us. In fact, our lead over the Slesians isn't by much, and we're behind the Andromanes. I think, we, yeah, we really got to start stepping up our military strength a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab Manticore Spaceport and start grabbing a few more of these town-class ships. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So three more squads is what I wanted to do there. Open our military ships. <clears throat> we'll just put these into fleets right away. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. New fleet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. New fleet. And one, two, probably this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And this will be a new fleet as well. Good. So I know we want to cycle out or to actually we do want to cycle out. And I, if I'm not mistaken, let's go to Manticore. I think we still have our old, <laughs> we still have our old frigates here. Well, that's uh, we should just retire them, but maybe we can just retire them this way. Send them off to their death. I know I was planning on doing that several times, but that's fine. Okay, so let's get these new fleets. Pop this up. Okay, it refreshed. Good. So now we have these numbered fleets. Let's get this one to be frigate fleet. <clears throat> frigate fleet. It's fine to me. 
Okay, this will be, what do we call him? Strike Bravo. Strike Bravo. And we have Strike Charlie. Keep hitting enter, but that doesn't do anything. And last we have Strike Delta. Now let's just clean up the pirates once and for all with these ships. And then we don't have to worry about all the cash flow we're investing into that. Plus we've seen that they actually have, I mean, usually the pirates are all bark no bite, but it's not been the case. I mean, to be honest, a lot of the times they get you through espionage. But that's not the case here. They're actually a pretty strong fighting force. Yeah, but let's keep an eye on this fleet, which it doesn't make sense what they're doing. Okay, some people who need re uh, okay let's just get let's go to all these ships you guys are finishing wait did you go to the moon yet all right well I don't defensive alertus can just come back and help out potentially this because that's uh they had two battleships what I saw so if that's real then we're we would have some big problems there mm-hmm Yeah, I think we're fine here. What if, is there any like technology that we can sell them? No, not really. That's always a good idea to, to keep checking to see who has the money to possibly, not the Slesians, good God. Do they have 73? Can't give you anything for that. Uh, nothing that's worth <laughs> any money to you. Okay, fine. Goodbye. What about the Andermanis? Uh, the Graysons? I doubt the Graysons have any money. I have some research base, but that doesn't interest me. Yeah, about the same amount of money. Oh my gosh, we can give them high density alloys though. <clears throat> this is only worth, what the hell? Why is this so, <laughs> it's so cheap. But let's give it to them, because I, I would like to give it to them anyway. It's like 24,000, would you accept this trade? Yeah, good. Okay, goodbye, and now the Andermanis. <clears throat> Glad we were able to get 24,000 for basically nothing. I love the Graysons and they we are going to be lifelong friends with them. Okay, good. We can give them enhanced storage. How much money do they have? Wow, they actually have enough. Let's offer a 20,000 discount on this. They accept. Very good. Very good. So the Andermanis, we've just <clears throat> given them a small discount on something. And let's see, is there anything else we can give them? No. <laughs> We could initiate trading sanctions against the Havenite Republic for 120,000. What do you guys think about that? Uh, damn it, we asked for too much. Um, what we, we we would do it for 110? Sure. No, I don't want to decrease our relationship though. I think like selling your we got, we don't want to sell ourselves so cheap. So I'm pretty happy that we were able to get that. We're up to 660,000. How far are we are we from this? By the way, how far are we how far away are we from advanced beam research? Still pretty far. Gosh, how much is this? Twenty two hundred and twenty that's it just It's very difficult to incentivize myself to do this. I mean eventually you need better weapon technology, but we're so far away from the next tier, because I'm not gonna I'm gonna do the jump right from Maxos to Titan. So we'll forget about that for now. Alright, so defense of Alerthus is coming back. I want to check all these people and just have them refuel. So it's just kind of, it's annoying, but they don't do it by themselves. And yeah, I should have done this off camera. I completely agree if that's what you're saying. You're right, I should have. Do we need Griffin? I think Griffin and Sphinx and Manticore, they're close enough. Let's get the Sphinx one to help out too. So Griffin, you will just refuel here. Halmont definitely needs to stay where it is. Uh, this is a big repair place too, I guess. So repair all, uh, refuel all these guys. This port is bustling, I bet. No, oh, only one person docked right now. That's good. And it's the Kiadia Pathfinder. What is she doing here? Ah, okay, she's a private ship. I thought that <laughs> thought that she was not a private ship. By the way, this Strike Alpha, you guys are just missing one. So what if I do this? What if we get all you guys to refuel here? Just repair and refuel at nearest. Because there's a few that don't have any... Oh, these are the ones that we're repairing. 
Okay, so let's go into Strike Alpha. And let's do it this way. Military ships, good. Fleet. Um, I don't care about any of these things. Just show me Strike Alpha. Strike Alpha, here it is. So let's get this guy to not be part of Strike Alpha. None. Strike Alpha. And some of these guys aren't going to have any fuel. So this guy doesn't have any fuel, which means he's up here. So good, let's get him to be not part of Strike Alpha as well. Just temporarily. Okay. Uh, you're not part of it. You have fuel. You have fuel. Basically, if they're down here, they're fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. This guy's not fine. So let's get him out of Strike Alpha as well. And this one's fine, of course, as well. Good. So there's Strike Alpha. It's going to be a new Strike Alpha now. Good. Just five ships, but it's something. I'm probably overreacting about this, but this has happened to me before. <laughs> Solarians, I, I think we should go to war with them. They're just getting too far ahead. Their growth militarily is exponentially, is ex well, exponential, I guess. I don't know. I actually don't know if that's true, but they're growing much faster than we are. And these guys are happy to give us money. Well, I'm quite happy to do that. Can we trade you any technology? You don't look like you have a lot of money. 12,000. My god. I can give you countermeasures for that. I think. Is that the cheapest thing we have? I think so. Yeah. We'll be happy to give you this. They accept. Goodbye. Very good. So we are able to get a little bit more money. I'm happy with that. Just going to pay for a few more ships, right? All right. So we have three. Da, 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 da. Picket and Nintan is just, come on, guys. Go and repair and refuel it near a shipyard. Do something useful. Yeah, because what the hell is this fleet doing? It keeps bringing, uh, drawing my attention. They have this battleship, which is... 900 shields, it's decent. They also have this one, which is the same. So they, they have battleships. We probably need battleships pretty soon. They have another battleship. Okay, this Apulon 13 class. They have two carriers. Well, good thing we have... Good God, their fleet is like all battle cruisers. Good God. Fair enough. Okay, you require refueling. Does that mean that you're done? Does this construction ship caught was Kyoto Prophet done? Is done. Okay, Kyoto Prophet, then the next step for you is to go repair these guys. I'm happy that we're getting those guys out of there. Uh this is also not good. No, they're moving to refuel. Okay. That's fine. That's what's ner uh, I mean, I shouldn't, I didn't mention this, but that's what makes me nervous about the 24th fleet. They're not moving to a refueling station, they're moving to a colony. I don't think there's any reason for them to want to do that. It's not even the nearest, col I mean, it's not even the nearest refueling station for them if they're trying to use it to refuel. So we'll just put a few people over there. Okay, so let me, I have to pay extra attention. I wish that you could control how many um, entries are up here. We actually do have to pay attention to what's going on here. This was completed at the, uh, so in other words, repaired. We'll send him back. So, Kyari Adventure. Get them to refuel here. Okay. Oh, well, I didn't get finished going through the fleets. That's what we forgot to do. Because we got to Griffin, Hallmott. They have decided not to refuel. Okay, they are now. Maybe I didn't even get to these guys. Lahan. Yeah, you guys aren't even attached to Lahan. So go refuel. Atlanta Spaceport, good. Uh, not to Ray. So have you guys refuel near sphere refueling point? Good, that's that one. Sphinx. Now Sphinx is going to be retasked to uh, roaming whatever. I, I forgot what I was calling these guys. 
Do I have it here? The best way of saying it is like on call. They're really on call. <laughs> on call <laughs> zero 01. <laughs> so we'll have on call zero 01 head over to this area as well. Good. And actually, let's have them refuel. They're also not looking good in terms of fuel. So go refuel. Good. Okay, some ships have been completed. Some mission was completed here. That's right, actually I forgot about this one little minor point. Let's not send Strike Alpha because they have all of our people. <laughs> so Strike Alpha, why don't you move back to refuel here. If we don't have enough people, then so be it. In fact, Oh my god, defense at Hallmott. There's no fuel here. You know what, defensive Hallmott, why don't you guys just become not defensive Hallmott and, and strike Alpha will become defensive Hallmott now. And then now we should have two, but it'd be very e easy to distinguish between them because one will be destroyers. And you guys, why don't you go refuel at uh, this place as well? Good. Moving on. Now when all the other uh, light cruiser class ships get over there to Halmot, it'll be really easy to reform defense Halmot into Strike Alpha. So, uh, by the way, is my strike groups, are any of them done? No. <laughs> Actually, we could form one correctly, but I'm not going to bother. It doesn't matter. The next wave should be done pretty quick. Okay, the next round is done. Do we have a group that's finished now? Yes, we do. Okay, good. So you, please now move to Lahan. Hopefully they have enough time to get their shields up. Eh, their shields are recharging pretty quick. Okay, somebody has completed at Kyalia Profit. That means my construction ship here will move over to this one. Uh, you will just do whatever you're supposed to. People are being completed. Let's just make sure I'm not missing anything. Don't says ship's completed. Ship needs refueling. That's probably the one we were... Yeah, that's when we completed this mission. We have this other ship completed. Ship mission complete. This is like cruiser. Okay, that's fine. Remove. Okay, so we really haven't missed anything, but ship's being complete. That's good. So I got a little nervous. I, um, with when you can't see all the things, it, it's very easy for something to uh, pass you by. And then you, you know, even just like a research breakthrough is huge if you just don't have any. The wheels are. Well, by the way, that reminds me. Do we have anything queued beyond this? Oh no, no, we don't. So that's good. good thing we checked. Let's do... I don't think private economy needs anything right now. Hmm. Advanced medicine. Medical center help. These aren't... Yeah, actually, this is good. Let's do this uh, growth center. And then get this as well. The uh, holographic center for colony happiness. We can just start spreading these things out. Troop cloning is always nice. We have another wonder over here. This is the entire population growth. So we'll just, you know, yeah, just queue up some stuff. <laughs> it's good to have stuff queued, not to have blank research. What about over here? Yeah, we have at least three things queued. That's good. And we have at least three, three things queued. That's good. Okay. Wow. We have not made a whole lot of progress in this episode. By the way, is Bravo, Charlie? Yeah, these guys aren't done yet. And Alpha is now no longer in existence. Oh, we just had a few more complete. Nope, only Strike Delta is ready. And how are just Strike Delta's ships going? Yeah, they're only going to be at half strength in terms of shields, which is not great. We have somebody under attack from the pirates. That's really not good. I might have to have my ship just escape. If you can fight them off, good luck to you. Oh, oh yeah, you cannot. Well, I'm very happy we got our construction ship out of there. That's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna do it. It looks like we didn't have a chance to get everyone out. One man left behind.
they aren't going to kill him. Okay, very strange. Just keep moving then. Uh, Kyari Provis finished his mission. I guess we should send him, her, back. And is that? It's, just, it's going so slow, our construction ship caught up with it almost instantly. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, monetary gift from the Andermani. Oh, wow, 10,000. That's actually significant. And uh, something else we don't really care about. It's the Haven Knight's still getting annoyed at us. We're not trying to do that. It can affect your reputation, though. We're still satisfactory. That's good. Satisfactory, dubious here. Satisfactory, satisfactory, satisfactory. So everyone's satisfactory. Nobody's... Um, if you hunt down... Okay, this, this is kind of interesting. What are these guys doing? We're about to find out. We have a lot of ships here, so if they are up to no good, probably not the best place for them to do it. <laughs> Holy cow! They... Re oh, okay, we knew it. Kind of, but... Okay, then we have to respond to this. Attack Cruel Sentry. We need to send a warning to them first. I don't know why they're doing this. Yeah, okay, they already got the reputation hit for nasty. I don't want to declare war. I don't know how to do this, actually. I don't know what's the right way of doing this, because I don't want to declare war, because then the mutual we're violating the mutual defense pact, and they're, uh, I'm assuming that they also have mutual defense pacts with everyone. So what we can see is they have mutual defense pacts with Grayson, and Armani, Silesian, and us. So if we declare war, it's bad. Although I suspect that us attacking their ships without declaring war is going to make our reputation worse. So what I'll do, since this is quite an exciting moment for us, um, is I will pause the game here and I will call this video to a close. A cliffhanger, I apologize about that. But actually, I want to I want to try different, a few different things because I don't remember what's the best way of doing it. Oh my god, they're like... Oh no, that's our ships who only have half shields. Damn. But... I'm going to, off camera, just run this scenario, see what happens if I attack their ships, if it gives me a reputation hit, even though we're just defending ourselves. See what happens if we declare war, if we go to war with all the other people. Just run through the possibilities here, iterate through the different solutions to this problem. And then I guess when I see you back in the next episode, we'll have our hands full. We are definitely going to somehow be going to war with the Solarians then. If it's an unofficial war, so be it, but this is... They're actually trying to take our colony. This is insane. And, yeah, I'm really happy that we managed to grab, you know, uh, 27 ships. I think with all this firepower, 2,000 firepower, that this, uh, this fleet doesn't stand a chance. Interesting, can I actually still tell this fleet? Can I still control this fleet somehow? Like, can I tell them to move here? Or can I tell them just to move? Like, what if I just right click here? Return to base mounds. Escape? Huh, it does work. I feel bad, I, I want to stop that. I want them to... Okay, I, I stopped it. Good. Well, I mean, it's obviously terrible. <laughs> so I'll save it here. We'll call this video to a close. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll have some idea of what, what's going on in the next video, hopefully. Until then, take care.